Hello, St. Mary's. I want to thank you so much for signing up for our digital prayer newsletter. I got to admit, as I went out to the vestry yesterday, I was blown away by the response of so many people who came out and wanted to sign up for this. I went home yesterday, watched a little football, went back in and saw that there was even more response after our time together yesterday. And then I got up this morning and realized there was even more response. And so I am simply blown away and very, very grateful that so many of you have decided to jump into this space. Just so you know, this space is going to evolve, so expect changes over the course of the next few months as we find a rhythm. Sometimes I'll be doing videos, other times I'll write something, maybe sometimes we'll use some art. We'll kind of play with some things and see where it all goes to provide a meaningful experience for you in this digital arena. And please feel free to provide feedback. We want it to be great for you, so don't hesitate to say, hey, here's an idea that I had. For those of you who have signed up but haven't yet gotten your copy of Hunting Magic Eels quite yet, fear not. We'll be reaching out to you quickly and figuring out the easiest way to do that. And for all of us, I hope that as we get used to this prayer list, I also hope that you will take as much time to dive into this book. I found it to be a wonderfully light and engaging volume, and I hope that you do the same. But don't read it too quickly. Take a little bit at a time. Digest it. Ask questions of it. One might say, read it prayerfully. Don't blow through it, but engage the arguments in it and see what God does with your heart. And it's to this book that I want to turn today on this Halloween, or what we know of as All Hallows' Eve. This book has an interesting point to make about hallowing, and it's that that I want to share with you today. The author Richard Beck writes, Prayer is hard in a skeptical age. Prayer can seem too much like magic, and we wonder if prayer even works. As consumers, we're always looking for a return on investment. Yet atheists have shared with me how they pray sometimes, and will say, I'll pray for you when people share sorrows and pain with them. Praying atheists is a strange phenomenon, but the reason for it is quite simple. Everyone hallows. Hallowing is an old word, but I love it. To hallow is to make or declare something as holy and sacred. I love the word because it points to a deeply human and universal activity. The reason we say, I'll pray for you, even if we don't believe in prayer or have serious doubts about the efficacy of prayer, is that when we face great pain, we feel compelled to hallow it, to set it apart from the normal stuff of daily life. And hallowing is enchanting. Disenchantment cannot hallow, and we feel its impotence acutely in the face of suffering. If a friend shares a deep sorrow with you, the words, I'll be thinking about you, or I'm so sorry, seems woefully inadequate. So do moments of silence when we try to collectively hallow shared tragedy. When the pain is deep, we long for enchantment. We want to hallow the moment. We want to stand on holy ground, hand in hand. In a word, we want to pray. And, and we want others to pray for us, even if we don't believe. So we pray. And so friends, this prayer list is a hallowed place. It is intended to go beyond thoughts and prayers. It is intended to go beyond moments of silence. It's intended to go beyond just, I'll be there for you. Because it's rooted in faith, a faith that says these concerns are important to the creator of the world, that even our suffering is of great importance to God. In other words, this prayer list listed below is holy ground. And so on this All Hallows Eve, I'd like to say that sometime, someone once said that the veil between the worlds, seen and unseen, gets mighty thin on a day like today. The veil between the worlds gets mighty thin on a day like today. The veil between heaven and earth gets a little thin. And so, my friends, let it. Let yourself be surrounded by the cloud of witnesses, those living and those who have gone before. And let us find ourselves in these thin spaces of hallowed ground. And in that thin space, may we know the love of one another and the presence of Almighty God. And so, as you set about to pray this week, Know that we wish you peace and good.